It's day um, 735. I've been, <laughs> I've been keeping count. <laughs> I don't know who I am anymore. And this is the only sane uh, conversations I can have outside the ones I have in my head. So. I'm, I'm sure. I know who you live with. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Other than that, um, yeah, it's, it's whatever, dude. So, let's see. Since quarantine, you put out 37 songs, uh, <laughs> a, a, a social distancing apparel line, uh, promoted four movies, uh, <laughs> mask, started a, a help start a sort of kind of vegan line. Yeah. Am, am, I, am I missing anything? Um... Or are you missing anything? Is there some stuff going on in the background um, that I, I just I can't wait to uh, show everybody? But um, the Ripple to Hippo line is still going. That book actually released um, prior to uh, COVID nineteen struck, so it's been like up and down. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm working through that because I got to do some more episodes. I was growing the channel. Yeah. Um, so once the channel gets to where I think it needs to be, like my target audience right now is maybe like 500 people. Okay. Once that grows to where I get it, then I'll release the other episode. Are you looking for 500 subscribers or 500 views per episode? 500 views. I'm, I'm not really... Um, well, you know what? Let me change that because the views and every the view policy and watch time and stuff has changed uh, via YouTube. So yeah. I'm going to... I'm shooting for 500 subscribers. That's what I'm shooting for. Because I know I can convert at least half of those to uh, customers. Yeah. So, I mean, 250 people add about 20 bucks a pop. Oh, I don't have to go back to work. I don't have to go work out. There you the go. Bonus. There you go. Put the, um, the Ripple costume on and you know you're good to go. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I am looking into getting the, um, if, if not anything, at least the headpiece yeah. made. Um, a friend of mine, she says that she may be able to do it, so we're going to do some error stuff and see how it comes out. Okay. Um, we're going to invest in a 3D printer soon so I can print, like, most of these action figures. Um, speaking of action figures, I was just in this, uh, this Star Wars kind of action figure animation thing. I played the, uh, the Mandalorian, well, I voiced the Mandalorian, um, Thanks to uh, Man in the Bubble, he's actually on Instagram. Yeah, he has a lot of content out, and he reached out to me because of my golden voice. And uh, of course, Silky. <laughs> it sounds like you would have a mask over your head. Just saying, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Also, um, there's a new clothing line coming out, which I'm premiering today. Um, I flashed it on Instagram and then took it down because it wasn't quite ready. Which is the not by proxy line. Bam. Okay. You know, it's just a testament to uh, creatives like ourselves being dope and not through anyone else. Like, we just dope on our own. So I figure we can be dope and not by proxy. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's coming. That's coming soon. I was going to make it like a summertime thing, but who knows if summer will get here. I know. I was like... Should, should I buy shorts and tank tops or just like... I have shorts already. <laughs> I don't have nothing on underneath the city. Just so you, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> if I stand up, <laughs> we're getting kicked off. <laughs> I'm going to link my OnlyFans account. <laughs> to... <laughs> yeah, so, alright, so I, I missed... I missed the hippo and another clothing line. So it's just like business as usual. Business as usual. And it's actually, uh, you know, people have been more supportive now since this pandemic has... Because they ain't uh, got nothing else to do. Like, so, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, they have nothing else to do. So they're in front of their phones. Yeah. I'm filming. Um, they're in front of uh, their, their uh, bank apps and statements. And they figure, hey, you know, I got an extra couple bucks. Let me support this dude so he don't have to go out on this run and actually work. Yeah. Unfortunately, I still have to go out here and there because I do still take um, uh, cars by appointment since yeah. I'm uh, a mechanic by trade. Like so, you know, people want they want their cars to work. 
and I'm here for him. So there you go. That's how it works. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, but this uh, this pandemic really doesn't bother me much because um, I've been taking care of myself thanks to uh, One Life One You Fitness. I think there's a poster above my head. <laughs> so uh, I've been able to um, change my diet, change my eating habits, exercise every day. Well, during the pandemic, it I haven't been going hard every day, but like every day I do get some kind of exercise. You just got you just got to move. Yeah, it's just movement. Yeah. Um. Uh. So yeah, it's, I mean, I, I, January I went to the doctor to get like everything checked out, like blood work and all that stuff. Everything came back cool. Like they actually didn't want to see me. That was crazy. The doctor was like, "Man, go ahead. Like we ain't got nothing to." Give That's how it goes. Yeah. yeah they, they just don't like me. Yeah. Um. And that, that's all thanks to, uh, you know, being on the, the, the One Life, One You regimen, getting my, sh- yeah, my shit together. And I'm, I'm good, man. Even, even, even with the, uh, the economy, like, sinking right now and all that, uh, that's been better for me. That's been better for business, which is, you know, I, I'm blessed. And I, and I thank all the support that I've been getting because, um, you know, people are sending me messages like, man, you don't need to go out there. How much is the shirts, man? I buy five of them and, and stuff like that. Like, that's really uplifting. And it, it also keeps me going creatively because in a time like this, a lot of people are stagnant. Yeah. And it, they kind of they kind of let them fear um, rule their judgment because they're watching a lot of uh, TV and a lot of, you know, reading a lot of nonsense. And they think they're getting the facts, but... That stuff, that stuff ain't facts all the time, man. No. Yeah. No. And, so, you know, and if you're creative, you're going to create through anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to create. Yeah. Like, I watch, uh, I had, I was on this uh, podcast with this guy. His name starts with an N and it rhymes with Nick. Uh, and he told me, yeah, it was like the One Life, One You podcast. I don't know if you've heard of that. No. Okay. <laughs> I got I to gotta send you a link. Anyway. Send, me, send me a link. <laughs> link is going to be in the pocket. Um, no, this up here. Uh, anyway, I'm 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 busy. I'm busy. Yeah, this is live TV right now. Even though he's he kept editing, this is live. Right? I'm not editing anything. Not editing anything. Anyway, <laughs> so when I when I was on uh, the One Life When You podcast uh, for the host, he told me to just create just do what you're going to do anyway don't be afraid to put anything out even if it's even if you assume that is unfinished or half cocked or whatever and that really that i needed to hear at that time because i was all the material that's coming out now has been harbored for maybe a year and a half so yeah. everything even like the shirt designs and everything are coming out like the social distancing one that actually came from an idea I saw flashed, like an advertisement I saw flashed across my Instagram. Uh, but because you know the microphones and everything are always listening. So yeah, of course. I mentioned, I mentioned something, and I mentioned something about like you know making and creating a shirt. I actually created another shirt, which will probably be like a limited or a special edition. And then I saw this social distancing shirt like flash across my screen, and I never saw it again. So, uh, being though I, I kind of have what my mom calls like uh, photo photostatic or, or photosensitive memory or something like that, I just remember what the design was, and I was like, "Now this kind of trash. Like I can actually rework this and yeah. do it a little better." Um, I had uh, some influence from the people in my house, and once everybody kind of had a thumbs up, I just wanted to press them. I made a, um, I made a. Uh, a magazine ad and it just kind of took off from there man a lot of people have been like super supportive of, of that brand so I'm definitely keeping that around for a while at yeah. least until all this stuff um, you know blows over which who, who knows in my opinion, so yeah that it could end and come back around and then, yeah. then you can re-release the shirts <laughs> and there you go Let's I'm all for it, man. I am all for it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm I'm almost ready for anything right now. 
Yeah, that's how it gotta be. I go, creators are going to create no matter what. And, yeah. you know. Right here is where the Instagram video feed started buffering and messing up. So the rest of our talk is just me kind of piecing together what I could and saving what I could. So enjoy the rest. Back back to the creators and the creating thing. I really, um, I took your advice and I started digging through old, um, well not old, but uh, material from the past that I had no plans on releasing. Um, I even refreshed a couple of days. I know you saw the, uh, the emails from Bandcamp. Cause I refreshed yeah. um, like one artwork, um, and I just started going from there and and, and releasing uh, these singles, which are technically I, I recorded relate season two. It's done. Okay. But I'm gonna release it in singles, and at the end of the single run, and some videos, I'm going to allow people to make a playlist of their own. Okay. And arrange the songs I really want to hear. Them. So, I mean, that'll be Relate 2 in a sense, and then All I'll right. quit because... <laughs> then I'll be promoting um, my Relate 2 idea. track list. <laughs> I'm like, this is the official... <laughs> that's, that's the genius in it, you know what I mean? Like, not, not calling myself genius, but that's the genius in it is because you let other people market it for you. Yeah. And they'll promote it, and they're still promoting the, the, the list of the songs just in whatever order they want them to be in. Yeah. You know, I think this track should be next to this track, next to this track, blah, blah, blah. So you let the people dictate it, and that's what I'm trying to push forward with music releases. Like, you just let the people dictate whatever. Like, I even uh, had an Instagram post where I reached out to folks because I wanted to do, like, a, a um, pandemic uh, video special where people submit things to me, and I just add them to the video if it fits. But nobody kind of bit on that. I think I didn't promote it long enough either. Um, yeah. So so nobody bit that, but I, I got something special worked out for that anyway. So yeah, I go, it's what people it's what it's people hard. are doing anyway. Like if you got an album, people are going to take the songs they want and do something else with it anyway. Yeah. So it, it's that, and that was another reason for uh, uh, releasing this album like this is because I wanted to do what people are essentially doing. That's where my marketing um, comes in. Is like you find out what the market is doing, and you go along with that. Yeah. You know, you don't push against the grain so much. Yeah. You just go with what people are naturally doing. So, um, I, I think that that will be more successful in, uh, you know, more successful for the content that I release and the my release schedules because clearly, I ain't on no kind of schedule when I release stuff. Yeah, I, I just feel it and put it out because. Um, Sometimes time dictates what I do. And if the time it feels right, I just let it, you know, I let it happen. Just like if I didn't talk to you on, on uh, the One Life, One You podcast about just letting the stuff go, it would have been a whole nother year before I started releasing this stuff. Yeah. Oh, and I've been paying but, attention. You've been putting out a lot. <laughs> That's how it should be. Yes. Wait. It, like I said, I'm, I'm actually, and this is again like seeing the market, like I'm following your lead because when I see you are able to, um, you know, do different types of content, like, okay, you can do your um, your, your um, shipping videos and, and you can do your trainer talk, but like, you have so much content. Uh, I'm doing more too. I'm, I'm home. <laughs> I'm going to be putting out more. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I can salvage from all the chaos that was happening. Thanks for listening. This is the One Life One You podcast. That was Rob Riley on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and everywhere else at Rob Riley, really. And my name is Nick. Thanks for listening.